Hey family. Hi guys. It's Tuesday, so it's time for another short tip. This week's short tip is don't mishandle your disappointment. Don't mishandle it. <laughs> what was is that? that like, that's bobbling. <laughs> like you grab something and okay. you're about to drop it. Okay. That's what that was. It didn't look like that, but anyway. <laughs> what are we talking about? So um I was just thinking about how you know how when we get disappointed with our spouse sometimes we don't handle it the right way we're like man i can't believe you dropped the ball on that or this you had one job dude <laughs> <laughs> type thing and you just get mad or you stop speaking to your spouse you give them the silent treatment you go around slamming doors or you start yelling at them or you know it's just not really handling it well and i think that a better way would be to, you know, acknowledge that you are disappointed. I'm not saying don't be disappointed, but just let your spouse know, man, I was really hoping that that was going to work out for us. And I'm really disappointed that it didn't work out. I'm kind of disappointed that you didn't follow through with that. Is that okay to say? I feel like that's okay yeah, to say. I think so. Acknowledge your disappointment and then, you know, I guess maybe ask questions mm -hmm. is there anything that i could have said did you misunderstand what we said was going to be your responsibility mm -hmm. or you know did i not explain it well you know not like you ain't hear what i said <laughs> not like that probably something i would do but mm -hmm. not like that <laughs> you know ask questions and also say what can i how can i help you to set it up for next time so that, you know, we're not, I'm not disappointed again. Cause if I'm disappointed, you're going to be disappointed and feeling bad and be like, man, I kind of messed up with that. So yeah. how can, you know, have a conversation? Yep. How can we work this out for next time so that the disappointment doesn't happen again? Yeah. Or if for some reason you are disappointed again, you kind of know how to deal with it. Right. Because there's going to, mm -hmm. there might be a, let's face it. You might, go through disappointment again. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. It may not be the exact same situation or scenario, oh, yeah. but Definitely. you're going to deal with some things where, Hey, things didn't go the way you wanted them to mm -hmm. your spouse. Some, you know, lets you down for one reason or another. Yeah. And it's just important to be able to handle that well, Yeah. because handling that well could be the difference between how you move and grow in your relationship or whether you end up going backwards. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to take steps backwards right. on this road to, uh, to intimacy, to complete intimacy. We want to be going forward yeah. and taking steps forward. And every time you handle that terribly, mm -hmm. you, it's a step back. It's a step back. Yeah. And now you're further back than where you started and you have to work harder to get back to the starting point mm -hmm. to keep moving forward. So it's very important that you handle disappointment in a way that is, what's a good word? in a way that's productive, productive, in a way that builds your spouse up and, and doesn't tear them down, in a way that lets them know that, hey, I still have your back. Yeah, I'm still supporting good. you. I'm still in your corner, but let's do what we need to do. Let's have these conversations. Let's get this game plan in place so that this doesn't happen again and yeah. so that we can move forward. Very good. So our tip for you this week is don't mishandle. Don't do that one. Don't bobble. <laughs> Oh, Lord, just finish. <laughs> Don't mishandle your disappointment. Make sure you're having a conversation about it. Make sure you're handling it in the right way. Yeah. That's all we have for you today. God bless. God bless.